here at what will be the scene of Monday's historic inauguration uh, set to start Monday afternoon. Uh, earlier today, a security and protocol briefing uh, held for Island Media at the uh, Lou and Josh Transition uh, headquarters. A lot of discussion uh, going on around Guam about the appointments that have been made and announced by the uh, Lou and Josh Transition team. I would say the mood of the island optimistic and I was able to go out and talk to some people and see how they felt about the incoming Lou and Josh administration. It's about time we try some other uh, uh, leadership and you because know, there's a lot in the past that was being said and it's never done especially for the veterans you know so I hope uh, Lou and Mike back in Washington could do something about it. We're always going to be facing a lot of challenges. It's just like how we deal with them. So, you know, we'll see what opportunities come up to face them and change what needs to be changed. I'm very excited because it's time for a change and we'll see what kind of administration for all the ladies control now. Do you feel like a sense of pride about that or anything, especially with the legislature? We had so many women get elected. Very. It's time women took a stand. What are us guys going to do? Watch and learn. <laughs> so who wears the pants on Guam? Uh, Lou now. <laughs> Lou wears the pants and the husband wears the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see behind me, preparations already underway for Monday's inauguration. Of course, the stations at KUAM uh, bringing you in-depth coverage of that historic occasion. That's Monday. My name's Chris Barnett. Back to you guys in studio.